thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, again, uh, for being here. Uh, it's really nice uh, to talk, uh, uh, like to talk here uh, at CSS Cafe. Uh, mm -hmm. I have watched, uh, you know, uh, like I think uh, four, three times uh, in the past, and uh, it was really nice. So uh, thank you again. Okay, so uh, let me like uh, give you a bit of info about myself. Uh, my name is Ahmed. Uh, I do, uh, uh, I like to do uh, both UX design and the front end development. Uh, I like to be, you know, uh, in that, uh, in that, uh, uh, in that uh, intersection between design and code. And uh, actually uh, I wrote also a book uh, on CSS, which is, uh, which is all about finding CSS issues and uh, learning how to fix them. And uh, finally, uh, I try to uh, write uh, on CSS uh, on uh, my blog, which is uh, iShadi.com. Uh, most, most of the content is, uh, you know, about CSS content actually uh, that is filled uh, with, uh, with uh, real life use cases. So yes, that's, uh, that's like uh, a quick uh, introduction. Uh, okay, so uh, first, uh, let me like uh, give you uh, like uh, uh, like a bit of info uh, about uh, about defensive CSS. So back in uh, December uh, in, uh, in December uh, in, in December twenty one. Uh, I wrote an article titled uh, Defensive CSS, and at, at that time, um, it was like, uh, uh, you know, a brain dump of all the CSS tips I had in mind. Uh, and it uh, wasn't really meant, you know, uh, to be something uh, that uh, could turn, you know, uh, into a thing that uh, we can follow. Um, so uh, at, uh, at that time, uh, I saw uh, really a huge, uh, a really huge uh, interest in this. I think that I, I think that uh, that uh, that uh, you know uh, maybe that uh, uh, like post alone got over uh, 100k, uh, 100k uh, page views, and that uh, that actually uh, led me to something which is you know uh, to work on this. So uh, I decided uh, in January, and uh, you know. Uh, I kept, uh, I think uh, I delayed it uh, till uh, last week. Um, yeah, so, okay. Uh, it's a well-known fact that uh, unknown content uh, can really, uh, uh, you know, uh, can uh, cause uh, layout issues, uh, be it short or long. So uh, content, uh, like for example, uh, if we have, uh, you know, a very short text, and uh, when we resize the screen, uh, it might, you know, break or it might cause something that we actually don't want. And uh, uh, that's uh, that thing actually uh, led me to uh, like think, uh, you know, about a way to write CSS that can actually prevent that. So here uh, we have an example. Uh, like uh, we have a headline and uh, we have a list of cards and now uh, it looks nice. Um, everything is perfect, okay? But uh, when we try to uh, inject some content over here, uh, things will uh, look, you know, like uh, if we plan for this, um, it might look good. But uh, in this case, uh, it uh, might look uh, like this one or like this one. Uh, Yani, uh, my point here is that none of this, uh, none of this uh, looks actually bad, but we really need like to uh, uh, to write CSS that that uh, actually control uh, uh, su such things. And uh, okay, so uh, in this uh, uh, in this example, it I also apply not uh, for uh, text only. So here uh, we uh, we uh, we also have uh, some nice cards, but when we inject uh, something different, something with a different uh, aspect ratio, uh, we will end up with the image being uh, it's like uh, being uh, compressed like this, and this is uh, this is not a good thing. So in such a case, I would 
I, I, I like I would ask my uh, uh, myself is the image actually coming uh, from uh, from the uh, from the back end uh, uh, does it have you know a consistent aspect ratio and what will happen uh, if uh, like if if we have a very long text and you might like uh, be thinking uh, like uh, what is like what an image has to do uh, with the text and I will tell you in a few so uh, if we are uh, using you know uh, if you uh, if we are using uh, flexbox for this one and uh, we have like uh, you know uh, we have a very uh, like a very long text here uh, this uh, you know uh, this uh, image uh, will will uh, will will actually be stretched like this so uh, this uh, this is uh, you know uh, this isn't a good thing and this is actually a default uh, thing uh, in uh, CSS flexbox and I will come uh, like I will come to this later uh, in a uh, tip so uh, modern CSS like uh, it made us uh, you know, uh, now, like, I think uh, most of the CSS layouts, uh, we can do them uh, with CSS. Uh, uh, since now we have Lexbox, uh, we have a grid, uh, we have has, uh, we have, uh, and, uh, we have a lot of things, uh, but we still face layout issues. And this, uh, uh, this is not because of CSS, of course. Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, most, uh, most likely because we write CSS that you know uh, that uh, doesn't account for uh, what will happen maybe if we change the content or change the image or uh, things like that. So in this uh, you know uh, in this uh, example uh, we have uh, you know uh, we have a web page that looks really nice. Uh, the headline uh, is nice. Uh, 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 as you see, um, everything is uh, very, very nice. But when I change the content, uh, we will have this. And please notice uh, what will happen now. Uh, let me repeat again. Uh, all of that happened because we changed the content. So uh, for example, here, uh, we, ha uh, we have a hero section with a fixed height and that because you know uh, this this content to look nice uh, to uh, to look like this. <coughs> uh, we also uh, have a fixed width here, and the same things happen. And uh, we also have you know uh, we have a long text in there, but uh, there is no padding. And all of these things happen because I just changed you know the text content. So that thing can actually. Uh, can be fixed, you know, by thinking about this design. So let me take, uh, you know, uh, here, like uh, uh, we have, uh, we have this card component. Uh, it has an image and uh, it it, uh, it has a title. And now, like when we try uh, to, uh, when uh, we try to think about this, uh, uh, maybe like uh, we need. Uh, to account for what will happen if we have two lines of text. So uh, as you see here, uh, like in case uh, we have uh, like a very long text, we uh, just, you know, add uh, uh, maybe a padding or a margin or a gap or uh, like whatever, uh, and it can fix this. And the same thing here. So uh, here we have uh, object fit, and this can can really help like to, to avoid the image uh, being stretched, um, and yes, that's you know, yeah, I mean, that's that's uh, what we can do uh, if we think about a, if we like think about a component. Okay, so uh, for me, uh, I consider uh, the defensive CSS like uh, a set uh, like a, a set of CSS things that uh, we can do. And it can help us in writing CSS that uh, that at least uh, you know uh, that uh, at least uh, uh, reduce layout issues. And uh, you know uh, when we think of the defensive CSS uh, as uh, as a way of working, not just a collection of tabs, uh, it will really help us to write CSS and also to design 
uh, it's not uh, it's not only about TSS, but we can also de design uh, with such things in mind. So uh, it can uh, be really helpful, uh, you know. So uh, 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 if uh, let, uh, let me say uh, while uh, while uh, you are designing something or uh, while uh, you are writing something uh, in the CSS or uh, even like uh, uh, for the quality assurance people, uh, they can test the thing. Yani they can uh, you know have a checklist uh, of things to test. So uh, we can actually uh, uh, design with unknown content in mind. And uh, for this, I can actually, uh, you know, think of uh, this one. So uh, it's, it's actually the same thing. So here uh, uh, we are thinking of what, what will happen if we change the text or what will happen if we uh, change the image. Okay. And sometimes it's, it's good to, uh, you know, uh, to think, with the what if thing, so what if we add a long content? What 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 if uh, like uh, if we change the image, and things like that. Okay, and uh, when we write CSS, we can you know uh, we can think of uh, defensive CSS uh, as a way to reset uh, some styles. Uh, so we can actually use uh, overflow rab with uh, h1 h2 and things like this or we can uh, apply uh, object effect to an image and uh, when we test uh, like uh, when we have a web page or something we can actually uh, have a checklist that can uh, you know that can uh, actually help us in finding uh, so, uh, in finding some uh, some uh, issues because for me uh, I see that the quality assurance people, uh, they sometimes uh, miss to test, uh, you know, a few areas where, where they don't really know that if they change something uh, uh, like, uh, like the layout will break. So if, like uh, we can actually help them by, you know, building a checklist uh, of some common things to test. Okay, and for me, um, I like, you know, having a list uh, of uh, a few CSS features that, you know, uh, that can uh, actually help me to uh, uh, to fix things. So, you know, we have uh, uh, FlexRab, object fit, badging, min width. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, all, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, all uh, these things uh, can, uh, can help so much. Okay, and uh, with that, uh, I, I will now, you know, I, I will I, I will start uh, with uh, with the CSS steps. Okay, so the first step is uh, long content. So uh, let me show you uh, this example. Uh, so here we have, you know, uh, uh, we have an image and we have a name. Okay, and uh, we have an action, but when the text is actually, you know, uh, when it's like uh, filling this this uh, whole card. Uh, this thing will uh, uh, will be washed down, and this is not good. And we can uh, we can actually account for this and solve it uh, up front. So uh, the first thing we can do is to actually is to add a flex one to uh, this text element, and uh, this you know uh, this will keep it you know uh, like uh, you have uh, this is base and uh, you must be here. And for the uh, main width, I will come. Uh, I will come to that later. Uh, or maybe, uh, like uh, we can, uh, we we can do things like this. Uh, but uh, for me, uh, I won't go with this one unless you know, um, unless the text we have uh, is uh, not something you know important. Or we can actually. Uh, maybe like add something like this, so uh, we can like add a fade effect. And uh, when we hover over this, uh, it it can show the whole the whole name or things like this. Okay, and now uh, we have a uh, flexbox wrapping. So here uh, we have a list. Okay, and uh, we have you know uh, we have this 
we had this blade flex. But uh, when we resize this, when uh, uh, like uh, resize, uh, resize this thing, uh, this will cause like uh, this will cause an uh, an uh, an uh, overflow. And uh, the fix to this uh, is very simple. We just need to add a uh, flex wrap wrap. And for me, uh, like uh, I will recommend uh, like adding flex wrap uh, unless we don't need it. So we can fix such things, uh, you know, uh, upfront. front. Uh, next is the uh, flex box uh, main content size. And this is, uh, uh, this is actually related to the uh, main, main wood thing. So uh, here we have a card, we have uh, this display flex, but when we have, uh, when we have a very long word uh, like this one, uh, it won't wrap into a new line. So I tried to add uh, overflow wrap, and it is still uh, not uh, not like uh, uh, not uh, rubbing into a new line. Um, and why uh, why is that happening? Uh, because of uh, uh, because uh, you know because uh, the minimum content size for flex uh, for uh, flex item is equal uh, to the content. So in this case, uh, like uh, the width, the width uh, of uh, this element, uh, like uh, it will span all of that. So we need to, uh, like uh, we uh, need to add min width. And uh, since the default value is uh, min width auto, uh, uh, we need to add that and uh, it will be fixed. Uh, okay, now uh, to uh, like uh, CSS grid main content size. And uh, I think uh, this is actually related to uh, the Flexbox one. So here we have uh, a main section and we, uh, we also have an aside. Okay, so uh, like uh, we have uh, one, uh, one of all and then uh, we have a text width, okay. Uh, so uh, what what I what I uh, like uh, what I want to do is that uh, I want uh, this bar uh, to scroll uh, like uh, on the x-axis. So I uh, I added the display flex and then uh, overflow x auto. But uh, what uh, what happened is this actually. So why uh, like why uh, why we have that? Because you know uh, it's. Uh, it's also the same thing. So the minimum content size for the grid, uh, uh, for the grid items uh, will be, uh, you know, equal to this. So uh, this is the main section, which have uh, uh, which uh, which has one one of R. Okay. Uh, so uh, we can uh, we can fix that by uh, adding also min width to the grid item or uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you can replace uh, the one of R with the min max. Uh, but for me, uh, I will pick the min, the, uh, the, uh, min width thing. Okay, and uh, now we have, uh, you know, so uh, in this example, uh, we have an image that, uh, that uh, looks really nice, okay? But when we change, like uh, when we change the image, Okay, uh, it will you know uh, it will it will kind of like be stretched like this, and uh, uh, the fix for uh, the, the uh, fix for such an issue uh, is uh, is uh, uh, very very simple. So we can add uh, object fit cover, and it's done. So please uh, try like to to add uh, object fit. Yeah, and for me, uh, I will add. Uh, I I will add object fit to uh, all to uh, like to um, all uh, images on our site, uh, and I will consider it uh, like uh, as uh, as a CSS reset. Okay, and for now um, it's about you know uh, having some space. So yeah, uh, so here uh, we have uh, this uh, headline. Okay. And uh, here, uh, here we, uh, we have, you know, uh, this uh, action item. So when we have like a very long text, uh, this, 
uh, you know, uh, the text will actually uh, be very close to uh, this uh, to this um, action item. And uh, in that case, uh, we uh, just need, you know, uh, we need to add margin right or a gap or padding, uh, whatever works best for uh, for the case, okay. And now to uh, to the tip, which is uh, which is um, like uh, you know all about um, autofill and uh, uh, like autofit. Uh, for me, to this day, uh, I still uh, you know miss uh, like uh, what will uh, what will uh, autofit do, and uh, you know uh, it's it's kind of like fit fill. And uh, each time I face this issue, I just come, uh, uh, you know, come back to this. So okay, uh, when when like we uh, like uh, when we uh, uh, use CSS grid, we can use uh, uh, you know the auto fit or uh, the uh, or the um, auto fill keywords. So when we have the um, when when we have the auto fill, uh, it will actually you know uh, it. Uh, want uh, it uh, want uh, uh, you know expand uh, uh, basic grid items, but when we have the uh, when we have the auto fit, it uh, it will actually fill the space. So it's you know fill fit. Uh, it's kind of like uh, something uh, I don't know. Okay, so uh, let me show you this. So uh, I, uh, we have a grid. Uh, and we have uh, auto fit, okay? So when we have, you know, uh, when we have four items, uh, it looks really good. But when we have one item, it's, uh, it's like sitting this way. And uh, this, uh, this is not a good thing. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me go to this. Yeah. Uh, so we can fix it. Uh, by just you know replacing it with uh, with the uh, autofill, and now when we have uh, you know one uh, one item in there, it will just uh, want uh, expand you know to fill uh, like the whole space we have. Okay. And next, uh, it's you know uh, when we like uh, when we have a background image. Uh, we sometimes forget to turn off uh, uh, the repeating. So, you know, it's uh, it's uh, a very simple thing to do. So we can just uh, uh, like use uh, background repeat and then uh, uh, no repeat. Okay. And now uh, we have uh, C uh, CSS grid, uh, CSS grid fixed values. So uh, in this case, uh, we have a container that has a fixed and uh, and uh, you know a fluid uh, grid items. Okay, uh, this uh, looks good now. But when we resize the screen, uh, we will have this. So uh, the solution is you know just to uh, is uh, just to apply the CSS grid uh, only when we have you know. Uh, uh, maybe uh, when the screen size is uh, larger than X. So in this example, uh, I'm you know uh, using uh, at media min width, and uh, that's it for uh, this step. Next is uh, the fixed sizes things, and uh, this is also related to the example that uh, uh, you know that uh, I showed you, uh, where we have you know. Uh, like uh, where we have a perfect looking UI, and then when we change the contents, uh, it's like uh, it's uh, you know just like this. Uh, uh, looks really bad. Okay, so uh, here we have uh, uh, you know we have a new section with a fixed height. So when we have a really uh, uh, long content, okay, uh, content will actually uh, be washed down, and uh, this is not good. So uh, uh, the solution is, you know, just to use min height uh, in that case. And now uh, we have the same thing, but you know, uh, we have uh, we have you know a button uh, with uh, you know with a fixed width. So uh, when we type like 
uh, when we have a text that is actually longer, uh, it will just you know overflow like this. So uh, the solution again is to use min width. Okay, and now we have uh, this tip, which is about uh, having a max, uh, uh, like having a max width uh, for uh, all the images we have. Uh, because you know, uh, when we have an image, uh, if, you, if if like uh, if the uh, if the uh, uh, you know image width is uh, actually smaller uh, uh, than the parent, uh, like uh, it will be okay. But uh, when we like inject something different, uh, it can you know uh, it can actually go out uh, of its uh, like uh, its its uh, parent element. So uh, we can, you know, just use uh, max width, and that's uh, all for this step. Uh, next is about, you know, uh, having like uh, uh, having a, a scroll bar, uh, just you know, in case, uh, just in case when we need it. So uh, in in uh, this uh, this example, uh, we have, you know, uh, we have text in here. But uh, we have, you know, uh, as you see, uh, we have the scroll bar, and that because we are using uh, overflow wise scroll. So this will uh, always uh, show the scroll bar, uh, even if the content is uh, not that long. And what we can do in such a case is to uh, apply uh, overflow wise auto, and it will fix this for us. So it will only show. Uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, scroll uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, let's say it will uh, only show the scroll bar uh, when we have uh, you know more content. Okay. And now to the next step, which you know uh, I think this is a new set of settings. Uh, this is uh, has been released. Uh, I can't really remember when, but uh, it at least works and. Uh, in the Chrome Canary, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, I think uh, uh, in the Chrome Stable, but I'm not sure about uh, you know other things. Okay, so uh, uh, here uh, you know, uh, like uh, we have text in here, and when we uh, when we like inject more text, uh, we have a scroll bar, and that will actually shift the content uh, to the left. So uh, what we can do is to add uh, a scroll bar cutter stable, and this will, uh, you know, uh, this this will actually reserve a space. So uh, as you see here, uh, uh, this uh, you know big thing, uh, you know, uh, this is uh, this is reserved for the scroll bar. So when we have more content, uh, it will just show here uh, without you know shifting the motor like. Uh, uh, like without, uh, you know, pushing the content to the left. And now we can also come to uh, uh, to scroll chaining. Yeah, uh, support looks good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So now, uh, like uh, when we, uh, you know, uh, uh, when we have a model, and when we like scroll all the way down. And uh, like, uh, if we scroll, uh, this will uh, also cause the body element to scroll. And uh, for me, uh, uh, this is not good. Uh, we used to fix this by, uh, I think, by um, applying uh, position fix to the body element and then adding, uh, uh, I think maybe um, uh, maybe or uh, maybe overflow hidden or or uh, or things like this. But for now, uh, we have what we have uh, over scroll behavior, and with this we can uh, we uh, we can uh, uh, you know contain uh, you know uh, we can contain the scrolling in here. So if I scroll all the way down, uh, the body element uh, won't uh, uh, you know won't uh, scroll down, and this is uh, you know a good thing. Okay. Uh, next, okay, uh, uh, it's kind of like uh, uh, using space between uh, as a way, you know, uh, to just uh, 
uh, you know, I do uh, uh, like to add a space between things. And for me, uh, this is not a good thing. So here we have uh, four items, okay? And when we have justify content uh, space between, okay, it looks good. Uh, but when we have three, uh, the space will get really, uh, uh, you know, big. And uh, uh, for, uh, for such a case, uh, I will just, you know, use gap or uh, use margin or uh, things like this. Okay, and now we have uh, like uh, the case where we have uh, text uh, over an image. So uh, in this example, uh, we have a card and uh, till now, uh, you know, it looks good, uh, but uh, when we don't have the image uh, for uh, for some reason, uh, the text uh, will be, uh, you know, will be hard to use. So uh, what we can do in that case is to actually as uh, 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 we can actually add a background color. And what, uh, uh, what will happen in that case is that, uh, you know, uh, is that background image uh, or uh, sorry, background color will uh, be shown only uh, if the image is not there. Okay, and uh, next we have uh, vertical media queries. So we have two ways to test. Uh, the first things, you know, uh, uh, is to actually resize the browser like this, or, uh, you know, uh, we have, uh, uh, like we might, you know, resize it uh, like maybe to move files or things like this. So uh, we, uh, we uh, you know, like uh, we don't uh, like have a website uh, like taking the full height uh, look uh, and uh, uh, you know, like uh, we like don't use the web in a way where we have like, uh, where we have a website that uh, is taking the full height. Uh, so uh, uh, not uh, uh, not uh, only that, but when when we also activate the uh, dev tools, uh, it will also take from the height. So you know. Okay. So uh, in uh, in this example, we have uh, fixed navigation, and for now, uh, you know, it looks good. But uh, when we like resize the height, uh, we have. Uh, like uh, we have the navigation, okay. Now, uh, any, uh, uh, you know, at that point, uh, we need to apply, you know, uh, 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 like the sticky styles. Only we have the space. So what we can use uh, in such a case is min height, and then uh, we can, you know, apply the fixed style. Okay. Next is. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes uh, while you are, uh, like while you are scrolling something and uh, uh, like uh, if you, uh, you know, uh, if you like have a tab on something like this, uh, it will, uh, you know, uh, it uh, will cause the hover state uh, uh, to actually be there. And uh, this is, uh, uh, for me, this is not a good thing. And we can actually fix that by uh, adding the media, like at, like uh, at uh, media hover hover, and then we can add like uh, we can add all the hover styles in there. Next uh, is the third. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's uh, uh, you know about like adding. Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, all about like adding an. Uh, 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 you know, an, uh, uh, an uh, instant shadow, okay? So we like uh, need to add an instant, like an instant shadow to an image. And uh, uh, we, uh, we need that because, you know, in some cases, uh, when we upload an image that's, uh, that is actually full white or something, uh, we will have, you know, uh, like uh, some, uh, some parts of the image. Uh, will it blend uh, with uh, with uh, with the background underneath it? So uh, what what we can do uh, in that case is uh, uh, we can either uh, you know as a div or uh, we can uh, maybe add a solo element. 
and why because uh, it's it's uh, uh, not possible to add an an uh, inset shadow uh, 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 to an you know uh, to an uh, uh, like to an image element so uh, in this case uh, we have this div and you know uh, it's it's uh, actually taking the same size and uh, that's it. And uh, not also only that, but uh, this can, uh, you know, also work for, uh, for uh, light mode and, and uh, dark mode as well. And next is, uh, you know, uh, uh, the default, to search, uh, it's like having the, uh, the default searching thing. So uh, in this example, uh, we have an image and uh, 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 like we have content, okay? So uh, when the content is, uh, is like this, okay, uh, uh, like um, everything looks good, but when, when we have the content like this, uh, you know, this, uh, this uh, will cause the image to stretch. And why? Because, you know, uh, this is, uh, this is like a default thing, and uh, we can fix that uh, by first. Uh, we need to add a line self start uh, to the image itself, or uh, we can actually add. Uh, we can uh, maybe uh, like adding a line uh, a line items, and uh, uh, like we can uh, like maybe we can center them like this or uh, we can maybe align them to the start. But my point here is that uh, with the flex items, we sometimes need to uh, use align, uh, align self or uh, align um, like, uh, like having, uh, you know, align self or um, items. And, uh, you know, finally uh, with, with, uh, with uh, all of this, uh, you know, uh, we need to write CSS uh, in in a way that actually account for uh, what will happen uh, if we change something, uh, be it text or an image or, uh, or like this. And uh, uh, for me, I think uh, it's done. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I hope uh, like uh, you have learned uh, at least uh, one thing in you.